All right, what's happening, everyone? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Yeah, and I hope you lot are doing well. Welcome to today's Chelsea News video, and it's an interesting one. A bit of speculation here, but some exciting stuff that could really change the fortunes of Chelsea Football Club this season and indeed beyond. Today, we're going to be talking about a speculative rumour about something that kind of sounds legitimate in Roman Abramovich may having his visa granted moving forwards with the new political regime in England and what that means. Also I want to remind you of Chelsea's legitimate interest in Isco and how he's been floating around London town, oh Chelsea are in London and really how that would be a valuable good signing for Chelsea at a reasonable price. And also, of course, the Jadon Sancho rumours are very, very real of Chelsea being interested, and there is communications between Chelsea and Dortmund, but perhaps an agreement is looking difficult to reach between the two clubs. Before we get into all this exciting content today, if you haven't subscribed to Football Therapy, please make sure that you do so. You click the subscribe button, the bell notifications icon, and if you want to help Yan out, please do like the video, and also go subscribe to my second channel, where often I talk about Chelsea stuff, link in the top of the description. Right, let's talk about Isco first, because no Isco. No disco. I didn't make it up, it is a thing apparently. Right, hasn't scored and assisted loads recently, but he is an exciting player, Isco. He is a Galactico level player, a very, very talented player. He's been starting for Real Madrid, playing in the number 10. Actually, the type of player that Chelsea could benefit with from blah, having with, hmm, Chelsea could do with them. They're the kind of player that can play between the lines when Chelsea is struggling to break down these teams at home. Throw a Galactico like Isco in there, combining with forwards, boom boom, assists and goals. Last summer, the head of Real Madrid, Florentino Perez, put a price tag of £44 million on him when they spent loads and loads of cash. Remember, they were just buying everyone in Real Madrid and they needed to make some cash. £44 million, if anything, because he hasn't signed a new deal and he's slightly older, that price should have gone down and not up, although Zidane is using him again and probably values him, maybe the price has stayed the same, but £44 million for Isco would be superb. Especially if you look at players like Mateo Kovacic and how well that's worked with for us, and they got Hazard, there should be a good relationship there, so I genuinely believe a deal could be struck at £44 million. Isco is in London! Now, this is one of those topics because he's with his family, he's probably just over for the winter, but you know, it's not cool in winter. I mean, it is cool in winter in the UK. It's too cool. It's cold. It's not really like the destination to go. I don't want to grasp the straws. Chelsea were linked with Isco. They put a bid in for 44 million. We don't know if it was accepted or even if it was accepted. We don't know if the player accepted the terms. Suddenly he's in London. Usually when a player comes to another country where in that country a club has bid for them from their country there's usually a meeting and perhaps an agreement to try and find terms or at least a conversation i am not saying isco is in london negotiating a deal with chelsea but i would not be surprised if he's met with the west london club to discuss a potential transfer i think he'd be a superb acquisition for chelsea what do you think get in the comments but let's move on to the next story right Regardless of your political inclinations, this is not what this channel is about. I'm not interested in whoever voted for who are under a new political regime under Boris Johnson and the Conservative Party. It's been said by some people that he wants a clean slate and he wants to switch stuff up and one thing led to another and apparently there's the opportunity for Roman Abramovich to get his UK visa back and come home to London and Chelsea. I am not saying this is a concrete report. I'm saying this is a rumour that surfaced somewhere online and apparently there's some connectivity with it, but let's speculate from here. Roman Abramovich comes back in 2020 to Chelsea, gets his UK visa, starts attending games again. Remember, Roman Abramovich, Russian oligarch billionaire, came to London, wanted to buy a football club, saw Chelsea, bought Chelsea, broke football, Chelsea became a superpower, won loads of trophies, played some good football, some defensive football, had some huge characters, big internationals, the box office story of Chelsea exploded. Remember in the 90s, Chelsea was still a top four team and quite a likeable team then. It's only when Roman came in that this sort of 
evil villain narrative started. Anyway, I digress. Roman bought Chelsea, and he always wanted to see the fruits of his Chelsea Academy play into the first team. Rather frustratingly for him, when that finally happened, under Chelsea legend Frank Lampard, he didn't have his visa granted, and he had to go. I know he got his Israeli passport, but still, a few political things happening there, and he's not hanging about Chelsea. Chelsea have money to spend. They've earned a lot, and they've had a transfer ban. Roman's not been around, he wanted to build a new stadium. The same people who developed the stadium, the birds and nest, amazing architects, a superb design, but it all had to go on hold. A lot of people link that to his visa being denied and him leaving the country in a state of frustration, maybe because he was just denied a visa, but maybe he felt hard done by for all the money he's put into the UK economy and stuff like that with Chelsea. Anyway, theoretically, he gets his visa back, comes back to Chelsea, what does that mean? Well, it means he probably starts coming to Stamford Bridge again and watching the youngsters play on the big stage and in the Champions League and stuff. Roman Abramovich attending the Bayern Munich game at Stamford Bridge. Imagine those scenes. Maybe he pulls out the plans again for the stadium and goes, it's back on boys, you know? And maybe he sits down in a room with Frank Lampard, Marina Granovskaya and the rest of the board and goes, right, Let's get Sancho done, yeah, you have some money, just basically gets out of all the cash and starts making it rain, you know, Marina's dancing under the cash, uh, Lampard's got a cigar, and just peculiar scenes that I don't even know what I'm describing. No matter Neutral's opinions about Roman Abramovich and his past or whatever, in terms of, in isolation, of what he's been to Chelsea fans as an owner, Chelsea fans adore him. He's given Chelsea everything, he's spent loads of money in an academy that makes amazing players. He's bought amazing players to Chelsea so they win. He's bought amazing managers to Chelsea so they win. He attended games, he wore the Chelsea scarf, he cheered goals. Look at the Glazers, look at Mike Ashley, even Daniel Levy to a degree. There's so many, the Cronkies at Arsenal, there's so many owners that the fans hate and want out. Chelsea haven't had that with Roman Abramovich, so Chelsea have been very lucky and I think it would be incredibly beneficial for him to get his UK visa, return to England, return to West London, return to Stamford Bridge and return Chelsea to greatness. Every day that Frank Lampard does a press conference, he talks about his faith in his young players, right? But he talks about learning new stuff about his players and he talks about required refreshment and how Chelsea still have a massive hole and void in the shape of Eden Hazard. Now whether Chelsea are thinking someone like Isco can replace that or a couple of other players or Timo Werner, I think Chelsea really really want Jadon Sancho and I'm starting to think so does Frank Lampard. If you've watched previous videos and we talked about Jadon Sancho's inclinations, there's many reasons why he would want to come to Chelsea as well. But apparently it's an £120 million deal on the table and it's not surprising really considering all the records he's broken over the last two seasons. He's still 19 years old. Now you think that might make him cost less but considering he's doing all this at this age, you're starting to think of like why Kylian Mbappe costs €200. Euros. Now I'm not saying he's a Kylian Mbappe but it's the similar kind of vibe why a teenager would demand so much money. Recent stories have emerged that Chelsea are reluctant to pay 120 million and that they'd only go up to 100. I think regardless, reports around all sorts of publications, journalists and sort of sources have said Chelsea are absolutely willing to break their transfer record in buying Jadon Sancho. Whether that's paying for him in January and loaning him back to Dortmund so he can complete what is a very positive season for him, actually buying him in January and bringing him or buying him in the summer, apparently they're reluctant to pay the asking price for a player who isn't as proven as Chelsea would usually like. Remember, they bought Kepa out of necessity with what happened with Courtois. Kepa probably should have cost like 30 million. You know, maybe they made a couple of million on selling Courtois and bringing Kepa in. Very talented keeper, raw in many ways, but they, they had to. They probably feel like they don't have to buy Sancho, that they could buy other options, more proven, more safer, even if Jadon Sancho is the number one target. Now, although there is going to be snags in negotiations, I don't know the details exactly. Perhaps it is Dortmund want him to be bought, but they want him to be loaned back and Chelsea aren't prepared to do that because they need the security of an arrival in January to ensure they get that top four spot and help them move forwards in the Champions League 
and the FA Cup or whatever. So maybe they feel like, yeah, it's great spending this money now, but if we spend this money now, we need a player now for the security to ensure we stay in Europe because that brings the money. I'd kind of get that, but you'd understand both Jadon Sancho in Dortmund wanting the player to remain in Germany to see out what is a very positive season. Still, the links are true, the links are there as they are with Isco. And as the window goes ever closer, we'll learn more and more about what Chelsea are going to do because if they do end up spending a lot of money in January, maybe they won't get Sancho in the summer. And we'll have to see what player they bring in in the winter to ensure they get Champions League football for next season. Anyway, what do you guys think? Get down in the comments below. I want to hear your thoughts and opinions on everything I've spoken about in today's video. Also, make sure you do subscribe if you're new to the channel, like the video and all that. And why not go subscribe to my second channel, Yam Plays? The link is in the top of the description. And to end the admin, sign up, <laughs> sign up, sign off. Do go follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. You don't enjoy the football, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chalk. In my life, seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger, like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.